I have seven items on the table, and these are all converters made by three different companies. Before I start introducing each one, please do note that this works with iOS version 13.3 and below, and for Android 9 and up. Disclaimer, this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Trying this converters might get you banned in-game. Use this at your own risks. All items here are called converters except for one. I'm not talking about the mouse or this phone stand. This is called a USB hub. If you have limited USB slots on your computer, you need this. Since this is not a converter, it doesn't have dedicated app to work. However, the company called Gamwing Gaming released the GG Mouse Pro 2. You can now use any reliable USB hub to play mouse and keyboard without buying an actual converter. The app uses basic settings, but for premium features, you need to pay extra. If you want to know more, I have a dedicated video for that. This one isn't uploaded on my channel yet, but this is easily the best under budget. The price is less when bought on sale. It has AI feature and the best design for space-saving customers. I prefer this over M1 Pro as you'll get more for the price of less. The button here in the middle is to turn off or on this device. There's no loose parts and quality has never been an issue with gambling items. This one is the idol of all converters as this is very popular. Tons of videos online, including mine which got a huge hit and causing my subscribers to blow. But recent customers commented disconnection and unreliable app. Mine no longer works, but I noticed a new one released similar to X8 Pro, but smaller in size. But I might be wrong, because I haven't tried that item yet. Updated version of M1 Pro has USB Type-C, unlike mine that has micro USB port. I probably skipped this one as Gamwing discontinued this in the market, and it has now changed to Mix Elite Plus. Anyways, this one serve its purpose during those pandemic days. I never imagined the app is very complicated to the point I regret buying this. I spend time to understand each settings which is worth it. I never knew there's much more details Cugamer could have done. This is closely similar to X8 Pro's functionality, but this is a little expensive when compared. If you found one of this gem, just avoid it and use X8 Pro instead. This one is the best among the rest. I highly recommend this if you have the budget. Looks like a throne and this sits on top of my recommendation as well. Not only it's cheaper but reliable and serve me well in all gameplays. I don't plan on upgrading this on my watch. However, I got a better device that can handle more power which demands a challenge. It has some additional features when playing PUBG Mobile and you can turn off developer's option when you don't need AI functionality. Notice every converter that uses Cugamer has this logo at the front or at the back. Not only that, developers keep on posting updated app on their website. If you reach this part of the video, please do subscribe and like this video if it helps. I'm on my way to my 3K subscriber goal this year, and I need every support there is. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This one is weird looking shell-like design, but don't be fooled because this item got your back when it comes to PUBG Mobile. It has all the tricks and cheats to be banned, but I never tried this features in game. Don't try this on other games as those features are mainly built or made for PUBG Mobile. This is similar to M3, but with a little mix of features to spice your gameplay. The only thing that makes me want to buy this is because it supports 2000 Hz polling rate, which makes gameplay even smoother. I have high-end gaming mouse and keyboard plus my newly bought tablet. I don't want to hold back the power I could squeeze to those items. This is the one I regret on buying the most. It's the most expensive out of the bunch and the modes are weird to switch. It's hard to set up and no 3.5 mm audio jack available. For the price of this, you can get twice the M3 with beefy feature. This is not ideal for beginners, plus there's no English tutorials out there. But here is the interesting feature I've never seen before. There's an option to reverse the USB hub port like a type C, where you don't need to think how to plug it in. And there's also an option for you to reduce recoil in PUBG Mobile without using the mouse and keyboard, but only your hands to play. Gambling converters are expensive, and it's not worth to try if you don't have the budget. This is based on my experience, and I'm happy to give this one away soon. This is the last converter out of all seven items we have reviewed, and that's all I can say for this. I know you're still thinking, what is the best for you? Knowing that you might end up regretting what you bought after. Let's start with the question guide. What is the hardest to set up? The hardest to set up and you'll encounter more issues when using are the gambling lineup. 
You should not skip this question as it is very frustrating when you fail to set up correctly. On the other hand, M lineups are the easiest to set up. The best budget is the X8 Pro hands down to this USB shape thing converter. It's not on my table right now, but it's also the most expensive as of today. It's called the Scorpion 2 Pro by Gamwing. It retails for $70. Some actually calls it Moxie 2 Pro as the box states, but let's just stick with calling it Scorpion. There's tons of videos online showcasing this beast converter. It's like a router, it'll take up space on your desk, and it's weird. That item might land on my table and into this channel soon. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified. Unboxing and reviews for each item will be posted down in the description below. Going back to the guide questions, what is the converter I always use? I always use the M3 ever since I got it. It checks all the boxes for me, and it's cheap when you thought of all the features it has that the expensive one doesn't have. M lineups are best for MOBA games. Yes, you can. Playing Roblox using this is amazing. Even though I don't play Roblox that much, I might upload videos on how to set up converter to play Roblox soon, but let me know if you're interested. It's easier to play using mouse and keyboard, but you don't need a converter to play that game on your device. A simple USB hub will do. Yes, as long as it works. That's all for this video. I hope this helps you in picking or choosing the best item for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you for watching and God bless everyone.